Hey, what's up out there, everybody? Thank you guys, as always, for stopping by the channel. This is my review of Jiu-Jitsu from director Dimitri Logothetis. It stars Elaine Lucy, Tony Jaw, Frank Grillo, Juju Chan, and Nicolas Cage as a Jiu-Jitsu warrior. Yes, Nicolas Cage as a Jiu-Jitsu warrior. It's a blend of action, science fiction, and comedy, both of the intentional and unintentional variety. So let's get into the good, the not so good, and everything in between in this action-packed movie. There's no honor in killing crazy. <laughs> So the story here it um, actually centers on this premise that every six years a group of skilled jujitsu fighters join forces to battle a breed of alien warriors that invade the planet and of course this team of fighters must take down this alien killer to protect the future of all mankind. Now what this movie puts together is completely bonkers from a critical aspect it's easy to pick this movie apart for its plot, its uh, genre choices, the budgeted special effects, the over stylized editing and the expectations of people to believe in Nicolas Cage as a jiu-jitsu warrior, but this movie actually did entertain me, so let's get into some of the positives. Going into this movie, you shouldn't be expecting groundbreaking cinema. It's a straight-to-video B-action movie with a limited budget, so uh, where it shined for me was just in its creative ambition. This movie is a lot of things, but it certainly isn't routine. Uh, thus, the ambition it showed in creating something fun and unique and not something like the uh, dozens of other B actioners that come out every year resulted in a martial arts adventure I was curious to see out towards the end. It is filled with non-stop action. Some of the sequences are more entertaining than others. Uh, there are a handful of appealing moments, though. The choreography overall is uh, pretty decent for a straight-to-video action flick, and the performers are all skilled enough to make the scenes pop, meaning Tony Ja, Elaine Lucy, Juju Chan, uh, Frank Grillo, and some of the others. Not so much Nicolas Cage, whose scenes uh, do result in a quicker pace to the editing to kind of mask over the use of all the stuntmen. But despite that, another positive was surprisingly the performance of Nicolas Cage. I mean, uh, this character in this movie, played by Cage, has every chance of being completely terrible, and while it wasn't great, uh, there was a charming self-awareness and an enthusiasm in his delivery that had me engaged. You can tell he's having fun, he brings his usual charisma, and he makes a lot of the ridiculous scenarios in this story kind of entertaining in their own way, when he's on screen at least. Now as for the drawbacks, I won't really nitpick the special effects because you can really only do what your budget allows, but uh, like I said, there is a ton of action in this movie. Some of it was very adrenaline pumping, but the fight choreography uh, just did get a little bit repetitive. This routine vibe to the fighting with so many different characters all getting their showdowns with this alien does get a little bit fatiguing and a little bit on the boring side. There is a blend of larger scale fight sequences and one-on-one -on -one face offs, but the flow of the choreography's timing does show itself in places. For example, Tony Jaw would uh, blow through a herd of men, just a couple guys at a time, and it really looked more like rehearsals, which did hinder a bit of the intensity because of its just overall artificial look. And also, I did say the story had its moments. It was a solid vehicle to work in one fight sequence after another, but it was pretty absurd and hard to invest in, and the heavy doses of exposition to explain what was going on created a scripted feeling to the dialogue. It doesn't really provide much to invest in or give foundations to actually care about the characters, so the lack of intrigue to grab onto did make the runtime feel a bit stretched. And in the end, it was a bit of a mixed bag. There were things I had fun with, things that weren't so great. Jiu-Jitsu is going to get 55% on the meter. It's a bizarre blend of genres and story themes, yet they're all kind of fun together. Uh, the knockoff Predator Alien was pretty cool looking. There's an ensemble of uh, characters to um, just carry the loads of fighting along. It's a B-action movie that tries to do something different. Not all of it works, but the curiosity of Cage as a Jiu-Jitsu warrior alone is worth a look for fans of straight to video actioners. Now for today's My Silver Screen recommendations, I have selected one of my favorite Nick Cage movies, that being the classic The Rock from the 90s. Uh, next up, I picked a solid Frank Grillo movie that you can find on Netflix, I believe. It's called Wheel Man. And finally, I picked my favorite Choni Jaw film, a great fighting movie, Ombok the Thai Warrior, that if you haven't seen, I recommend checking it out. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'd love to talk movies with you guys. Share it with your friends. And without question, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can never miss a video. Here are some links to some recent reviews just in case you missed them. All my social media links and the link to our official website are down in the description below. And I'll catch you next time.